Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your man, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content in boxing and MMA news that is out. So before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button on the video, and if you have anything to say, hit me up in the comment section, you dig? But this is some news on Henry Cejudo, and he is finally making his way back into the UFC. And I was actually doubting if he was ever going to come back to fight because he's always talking but when he put himself back into the USADA pool for drug testing, I knew it was just going to be a matter of time. And he was very adamant about wanting to fight a dude like Volkanovski for that 145-pound title. But since Volkanovski is moving up to the 155 pounds to challenge for the title, Henry Cejudo will be making his comeback against Aljamain Sterling for the 135-pound championship. Dude, you can't freaking beat that right there. That's going to be a sick-ass damn fight. But... This is coming out in MMANews.com where it states, Aljamain Sterling versus Henry Cejudo now targeted for UFC 287. And in this article, it goes on to state, the UFC is reportedly targeting Aljamain Sterling versus Henry Cejudo for UFC 287 in April. It also goes on to state in the article, UFC 287 takes place Saturday, April 8th, 2023. There is currently no main event or location confirmed for the event. That's where if there's no main event, you would think that this would be the friggin' main event. I guess they're looking for somebody that's a bigger ticker seller, but dude, this is definitely going to be a sick-ass fight, and for Henry Cejudo to be making his comeback against a dude like Aljamain Sterling, a dude who has literally been on the tear, I think his last loss he lost against Marlon Marias when homie knocked his ass out with the knee, That's been, that was a while ago, but that's been his last loss, but ever since then, he's been whooping on everybody, friggin' Peter Yan, TJ Dillashaw, Corey Sanhagen, Again, Jimmy Rivera, all the top dudes that was in that 135 pound division, he's been tearing through their ass. And for him to be able to fight a dude like Henry Cejudo, this can definitely be a very much legacy type of fight for a dude like Aljamain Sterling. And with a dude like Henry Cejudo making his comeback, being a friggin' two weight champion for the 125 pound division and the 135 pound division, and he was on a friggin' tear whooping everybody's ass, friggin' Dominic Cruz, uh, Marlon Marias, friggin' uh, Demetrius. Uh, Demetrius Johnson, dude, he was whooping on friggin' everybody before he left, but for him to be making a comeback for a fight of this caliber, dude, you definitely got to credit a dude like Henry Cejudo for being able to come back to a fight like this, going up against the top dude and a dude like Aljamain Sterling, and this is definitely going to be an exciting ass fight. So, with that being stated, hopefully they're able to find a main event for this, but with this, I'm guessing it's going to be the co-main event. I'm hoping that this is just going to be a sick ass fight card all around you guys okay so with that being stated i hope you guys like the video if you guys like the video make sure to hit the like button if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe to the channel and if you have any kind of questions any kind of comments hit me up in the comment section and i'll be sure to hit you guys up all right so i hope you like the video holla at you man